Okay, for those of you who are taking listening and speaking from me this fall semester of 2020, I always like to start each class, each semester, uh, with a very simple question asking each learner to share his or her own expectations that they have for me, their instructor. And so, first of all, I want to appreciate everyone who contributed and shared their expectations. It's very important that everyone has the opportunity to share these uh, very important ideas about what you expect from me from the very beginning of the semester. 41 of you responded. I'm not going to share here who answered what, of course. I'm going to keep this confidential. Um, but I do want to share or summarize some of the ideas that were shared to me via this one simple question. What are your expectations from me, your instructor? Now, I'm going to be looking off to the side here because I have my notes. I basically went and read all of the expectations and summarized into key terms, key words, phrases that I think captured some of your ideas. So I'd like to go over those with you right now. Many of you uh, were are expecting from me that I give you certain strategies to help you develop your skills, your English proficiency skills. Uh, since this is a class in listening and speaking, we're going to be focusing primarily on those two skills. And we're going to have a lot of opportunities and we're going to have a lot of discussions about different strategies to help you become a better communicator, to feel less stressed when it comes to speaking in front of others, uh, when it comes to listening, uh, uh, listening to others as they talk to you in English, different strategies, different ways that you can go about actively participating in both, the, uh, both of those skills. All right, so we'll talk a lot about strategies. Um, one of the things also that you expect from me is to help you with your pronunciation. All right, so we'll spend a lot of time practicing and repeating certain words so that we get our muscle memory uh, right so that we can uh, be more comfortable when we pronunciate certain words in English. And also really focus on those times where pronunciation might interfere with uh, the message, right? The the uh, message that you're trying to convey when you speak English. A lot of you want to build your confidence, so you want me to help you build uh, confidence, and I think that kind of falls under the category of strategies. I'm going to give you a lot of tips and ways that you can work and practice and participate in the conversation, and it's going to be really your job and and me to help you find the best strategies that work for you. But we'll, we'll look at certain strategies that really focus on building your confidence. You also expect me to be accessible, that is, to be available if you need help. And one of the ways that I'm going to be doing that is encouraging all of you to reach out to me via chat, via Microsoft Teams if you have questions. Also being available outside of class if it's needed uh, on, in an online class uh, environment to clarify your goals. But a lot of you want me to be accessible, be available if you need help. Many of you expect from me that I'm patient, that I have a lot of patience in uh, helping you with developing your skill so that I don't get impatient. I should be patient and help and wait and uh, really try to facilitate your process, but having patience. So that's a commitment that I'm making to you is that I'm going to be patient and I'm going to be uh, persistent in trying to help you uh, with, your, uh, with the development of your skills. You expect me to be organized. Some of you mentioned that. So that's one thing that I'm really working a lot on, especially in this online environment. How can I be organized in the course content? How can I be organized in describing or explaining the instructions that we're going to be doing. And that's something that, uh, that I'm working on. And that's something that I hope that you provide feedback to me as we go throughout the semester. If you're ever lost or if something is just not right, that you reach out to me so that I can be as organized as possible. Now, this first week and even going into the second week, 
we're all adapting and adjusting to this online environment. So I totally expect that all of us are experiencing a learning curve that is an adjustment in being um, or working in this way. And so I hope that once we get more comfortable with the technologies that we're using for this class, primarily Microsoft Teams, we're going to be using ClickUp, and I'll be explaining more about ClickUp as we get into it. Um, Flipgrid that was going to be another technology we'll be using quite a bit. Those are going to be really the three main types of technologies. But the whole idea of using those three is to be organized. Dynamic. A lot of you want dynamic classes. So this is uh, something that we're going to be doing in the form of uh, the technologies that we're using, but looking at both the listening skill and the speaking skill and really looking at it from different angles. And what I mean by that is trying to find different activities, it both working in groups, working individually, working as a whole group, and really trying to mix it up and try different things. This is where I will be asking probably on a weekly basis for, for feedback from you to let me know how these different class dynamics are working for you. All right. Some, some activities are probably going to be, um, you know, going to be more engaging than others for you. You may enjoy certain activities more than others, but I hope to uh, find ways to keep our the lines of communication open between you and me so that you are reaching out and giving me feedback as we go and uh, progress throughout the course. But dynamic courses, this is what something you expect from me, how to create a dynamic learning environment. Um, I'm going to scroll down here. Some of these have been kind of uh, repetitive, um, but also a community you want, you would like to uh, have or experience this class in terms of a community. And what I mean by community is that you're, that you have confidence with not only me, but also your classmates, that you are finding ways to learn from each other, to help each other, to encourage each other. other. When uh, someone is uh, falling behind or has questions that he or she knows other classmates, uh, knows that they are willing to help, uh, help them get through uh, their doubts, okay? This goes beyond just me and my responsibility, but also a community of learners uh, in terms of all of you and working together so that collectively together we're all succeeding and no one is falling behind, that, we're, that we feel a sense of responsibility among all of us. And so some of you kind of talked about having an environment that is set up in that way and that and that I'm facilitating and help developing that, that type of environment. Um, some of you mentioned, let's see, so patience, a support, okay, and, and I, I, some of you mentioned like you expect me to be supportive, and I kind of put that into the category of accessibility. So am I, how am I being supportive both in the class and outside of the class? Your expectations from me is that I try to do both, that I'm supportive in class and I'm also supportive outside of class when it's necessary. Some of you expect from me that I help you with your vocabulary and uh, you can be assured that we're going to spend a lot of time and we're going to talk about different strategies that really promote vocabulary learning. In fact, this week we'll be diving into that specifically. You also expect from me that I, I'm honest in how I feel and honest in the way that I give feedback. And I think I'll also put into that category of honesty, but, but also being fair. So when I provide feedback, um, one of the expectations from you is that I'm honest. And maybe a second is that I'm also fair. I'm fair in that I'm not... Uh, favoring one student over the other, that I am being fair and honest to each and every one of you. Um, you expect me to help build your confidence as a speaker. And you expect from me um, 
to, it says receive questions from us, all right? So you expect from me to answer your questions, right? So if you if you have doubts, you expect from me to, to help uh, answer those questions. And learner confidence, some of this is being repeated, uh, is being repetitive. Some of you uh, expect that we play games and, and listen to songs and movies, and we're going to be using games, songs, and movies throughout the course. Um, I, f I think that falls under the category of dynamics, but some of you mentioned specifically those terms, games, songs, and movies, and I think that's uh, certainly reasonable. Some of you mentioned specifically phrasal verbs, which I think falls under uh, vocabulary, and... Um, even making videos, like dynamics, even uh, helping you learn how to make videos. So essentially, those were the key words that, ca that I came across when I read over your responses, your expectations that you have from me. And, um, you know, the expectations that I have from you are simply that each of you really does the best you can, that each of you feels a sense of responsibility that you are responsible for your own learning, but that you're also um, that you can also expect from me to respect the key the key items here, the key terms that I'm, I'm sharing with you today. I'm being patient. I'm accessible. I'm helping you with your questions through dynamic classes, helping you both within our live sessions every day, as well as outside of class as needed, and so. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys uh, some of the expectations, in fact, all of the expectations that I've summarized that I received from you. Again, I want to thank you for providing this information and uh, really stress again the importance of reaching out to me uh, whenever you are stuck, right? Whenever you're not sure what to do, if there's an issue with technology, please let me know about it, okay? Don't let a lot of time go by without you letting me know of your situation, right? If there's a problem with technology, with the, if there's a problem with uh, your Wi-Fi connection, whatever the case may be, the main thing is that we have good communication between, between us, right, throughout the course. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and stop there, guys. Again, thank you, and uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow in class.